Hello. I've used GoPro for years now, since the early days, and I use them for my flying activities. I use them on my walks. I love filming landscapes and skyscapes, and they've got better and better at what they do with stabilization and so on. But they also come with a few problems, which I want to talk to you about. I've been trying for months now to overcome a particular problem with the camera, and that is when I'm panning, the playback is very jerky particularly if it's a landscape or skyscape or when the aeroplane is in a turn and it's scanning or filming the horizon uh, the playback is very jerky indeed and it's not very satisfactory for the, the resultant film. With any camera whilst you're panning you do have to be slow. Uh, there's a rule of thumb that frame left to frame right should take approximately seven seconds in the pan. It really does need to be very slow, otherwise you're asking far too much of the uh, processor in your camera. The other thing you need to be aware of is uh, the device you're playing it, uh, your film back on. Uh, if it's from a slow PC, then you're going to get this uh, frame rate uh, hesitating, pausing between one and the next. Uh, my PC is very fast as it happens, so that's not an excuse at all. So I'm looking to the camera for a solution. I'm going to use a scientific approach. I've changed the settings on the camera one by one and done various films panning the horizon and the sky. Judge for yourself, but one particular setting has made a huge difference and I believe that's the one I'll be using in future. I'm going to be doing this in slightly faster than I would normally do it. Panning now left, and I'll do right as well. So this is cinematic, 4K, 60 frames per second, linear, and hyper smooth to high. So the only thing I've changed this time is the um, hyper smooth. I've changed it to standard. So we're cinematic, 4K, 60 frames per second, in linear, but with hyper smooth standard. Cinematic. 4K, 60 frames per second, linear, hyper smooth turned off. I am panning faster than I would normally. We'll just count how many seconds it takes to do a frame's width. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah that's about right, so seven seconds to do a the width of a frame. This is 4k, 60 frames per second, in narrow. It seems to default to hyper smooth on boost, so I can either have it on boost or not at all in this setting. So narrow obviously doesn't have any fisheye effect. So we can truly test whether or not it's the linear effect which is causing the problem. Cinematic, 60 frames per second, 4K, narrow, hyper smooth, turned off. You're only offered hyper smooth boost or off when it's in narrow. 
so I expect this to be shaky. So it's cinematic, 60 frames per second in 4K and instead of linear mode I'm using it in wide mode, still with hyper smooth switch to high. Cinematic, 4K, 60 frames per second in wide and hyper smooth to standard. I did discover earlier that having hypersmooth turned off altogether is not a good idea. Hypersmooth works extremely well, so I've got it actually switched on, but only to the standard setting at the moment. Cinematic, 4K, 60 frames per second, super view. Hyper boost on. And I'm just going to do a fast sweep now. Or twice the speed, see what it looks like. That should be ropey. Cinematic, 4K, 60 frames per second, super view, hyper smooth, set to standard and a fast SD card. It's a 128 gigabyte card with a very fast write speed. So I'm just testing for panning to see whether there are any judders. aren't human in induced. I don't know how steady my hand is. So I'm now going to do my normal speed of pan, which is quite slow, to see if we have any judders or jitters in it. That's what I'm trying to eradicate. I've had a few films spoiled really from jumping in the frames. So that would be my normal pan speed. And I have noticed it seems to be slightly worse in right to left pan than it is in left to right pan. I don't know if this is a thing, but we can just have a look at that with this. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, the results of this experiment is specific to me really, but uh, you might find it helpful. Um, but if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like it and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye bye.